What's going on guys? Welcome back to the BRL week 7 matchup. Um, this week we're taking on, I'm try and say his name right there. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be impossible to say his name. Uh, Cena? Is it Cena? I don't know. I don't know. There's a bunch of X's and I's in there. Anyways, um, industry. I didn't. I didn't think that Florgis and Toxtricity did not come this week, which was very interesting for me. Uh, I thought Florgis would have been an obvious choice to stop a bunch of my mons. Uh, totally fine with it though. <laughs> totally awesome to not have to fight a, Flor a Florgis. I hate taking those things on. Uh, as our Tentacruel is not the best poison type to actually take that thing on. Uh, we have some interesting tech. As you can see, Raboot is back. Ah, oh, dude, I love Raboot. Raboot is probably my favorite. It, it's Megalopony, then Raboot on this team. I love those two Pokemon. Let's go ahead and get right into this. Uh, I want my rocks up turn one. Uh, but I was like, eh, a Toxic's probably better for me here. And then I can rocks the next turn. Uh, I believe he would have knocked off there if he had it. And he does it. And I'm like, oh, perfect. We get our rocks up, and we are Culberberry to bop this thing with body press. As depending on if he's, uh, depending on how he runs his set here, we are just gonna Oko this. Uh, boy, we Oko it. <laughs> we just destroy this thing. Mega Absol is trash. Uh, so really, I don't really care what happens at this point. I'm just gonna get chipped down on this thing. As he at first I was like, oh, that crit mattered. Then I body press and do you know decent chip, and then he. Crits me again. I was like, oh, okay. This thing, this thing's just leak. Okay. Well, okay. Crit didn't matter. Now, I'm going to threaten this thing out as we do knock it out with any hit that we want to go for here. I'm going to go for my strongest hit. I think it's the second time this season I've run close combat. As we just fire off a close comp. Uh, I'm very sorry. We click return. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but I want to keep this thing healthy. I know he's going to rapid spin here. Uh, I have nothing that I can do to stop this. I want to go straight into this thing. As uh, so I can hopefully rapid spin back or earthquake back, and I'm looking at the damage, and I'm like, hmm, I'm just gonna earthquake back and kill this thing, so there's no rocks. Um, but he doesn't, uh, he doesn't do that all that much back to us. We do 28, he does 33. Not all that bad. We have a couple more switchins on stealth rocks if we want to, and uh, he gets a free hit off on this thing. But I was like, okay, I can, I can live whatever he wants to go for here. I can resist because he's not guts yet. Um, and we are actually quick feet, so we are going to be faster. And as you see, there's no ground type, so we can volt switch. Uh, I might should have yawned if I was ballsy, because we do have yawn on our Jolteon this week. But I'm going to go and uh, swap out of this thing as Gunk Shot will demolish this thing. I mean, just do so much damage. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Bop down to four. Down to four percent, which uh, we could never kill there. That was like an almost max roll, but we could never kill there. Um, I don't believe not with his set. Uh, that does tell me though he is max spadef and not max defense. As we do land another gun shot here, and then we are going to eat this crit first impression and land another gun shot to get. I think it's our third or fourth kill with Raboot so far this season. Totally worth one point. Uh, this tells me too he's not scarfed, or if he is scarfed, he's really slow. As we are scarfed. Might be like Scarf Adamant or something like that. Uh, we do a huge amount of damage to that thing and poison it. So it's it's basically dead because we do have Quick Attack on our Lopany. Uh, this is where the stall begins, dude. I, I'm going to spin these rocks away so that my uh, Lopany can come in with not get chipped. And our Jolteon can come in and not get chipped anymore. I really need those things to be as max HP as possible. And now I'm really just going for the Sludge Bomb Poisons. That's all. That's all I really, really need on this thing. Uh, I'm going to turn the speed up on this thing, actually. I mean, it's going to be... He lands the Leech Seeds here, which really sucks. I'm looking, I'm like, okay, maybe I can put this thing to sleep with our Jolteon. I can probably eat an Apple Acid. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try and put this thing to sleep. As I do eat an Apple Acid, barely. Uh, and then I am going to Volt Switch out of here so I can live. And if he stays in, he goes to sleep. If he switches out, he... Oh, he lands a leech seed. If he didn't land that leech seed, or if he did like anything else, oh, dude, it'd been perfect. Like if he recovered there or something, or apple acided, we could two hit KO this thing. I stupidly didn't go into Ditto. Uh, I hadn't seen Dragon Pulse on this thing yet, 
but I should have done that. I honestly should have done that. Uh, but I'm, I'm really seeing how it's going to be really, really, really hard for me to break this thing. Is he can just keep recover stalling me. And I'm not getting the 10%. No, it was 30%. I'm not getting the 30% Sludge Bomb Poison, which is really sucking right now. Like, it's the whole point you run Sludge Bomb over Sludge Wave is so you can get that 30% Poison. And we get it. I'm like, sick, dude. Sick. Uh, I'm going to make the break into the Ditto here. As I really, I need to catch this thing off guard as he apple acids which is perfect that's exactly what i needed because here here's oh. hold up <laughs> it's all it's too fast now it's too fast oh let me let him apple acid all right here's now now we put ourselves into a win con situation right if he uh stays in and tries to recover like, like if we if we hit the dragon pulse, he tries to recover. We're gonna probably win that eventually. I I, I believe we win that. Like it, well, he won't recover enough. If he stays in and attacks, and kills us, and you see what there is left, we can go Jolteon. We outspeed both. We volt switch. Get pick up a kill on either one of them. We can go into Lopini. Uh, Lopini's fake out plus quick attack plus the burn damage. I don't, I don't even think we need the burn damage. Knocks out the Swellow, and since we saw that it is the Guts variant, we did speed creep it this week, and so we just we, it's just impossible to lose this week. It's impossible unless some crazy thing happens, like I get crit on a quick attack Guts, like a Guts quick attack or something like that, but I still don't even think we'd lose at that point. Uh, unless he was like Mega Adamant or something. Uh, so we do go for the Dargan Pulse here, knock it down to 7%, and he does Dargan Pulse us back and knocks us out. Oh, which is perfect. He's sitting at 1%. We can go into our Tentacruel. Uh, I forgot I did sack this thing. Uh, that way I could see what it was coming in first. That way I could play it perfect. That way I can just guaranteed not lose to this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and sack this. Sugarberry does not matter. I believe it's probably Bandit, possibly. I, pff, I have no idea. I, I didn't see this thing damage all that much. But I'm going to be able to Volt Switch out. Gets me my free switch into our Megalopony. We're sitting way above quick attack range, and we are able to fake out and then quick attack this thing to death. I could have actually returned and killed it, but I just wanted to be safe and click quick attack, make sure we don't get crit or anything like that. Uh, and that is a GG to, uh, I'm going to just say Cena. I, I don't know. Um, but th that does put us at 6 and 1, positive 13 differential. The other battle for the second place guy. Oh, technically second place guy has not been put in yet uh, if he loses we're first if he wins we are second um, so looking pretty solid for playoffs right now for us uh, and if you guys have enjoyed this so far I think this is one of the most fun seasons I've had in a long time in league uh, regardless of the winning or not I really like the sets that we've brought and I really like how these games have gone uh, win, or, win or lose to be honest Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this so far and like to see more, we actually have, I'm not sure, it depends on how the drafts go. Uh, I need to fill the Wednesday slot, and so depending on how the drafts go, I will pick up, I'm picking up two new leagues uh, here shortly. One is a returning, one is a new for the channel league. And I'm going to debate on which one I want to start on Wednesdays. And the other one will get pushed to Monday once BRL ends. Uh, anyways, leave, uh, leave a comment down below on how you think about this, or what you think about this team. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. Peace out.